as the popularity of Superlight SL e-mountain bikes has been booming around the world, the anticipation to see what Bosch would finally bring to the table in this exciting marketplace has been building for a number of years. And finally, it has arrived. This is the Bosch Performance Line SX Motor, a very cleverly designed, super combat, but yet very powerful package. Now let's talk numbers, it's pretty impressive on paper. We're talking 600 watts of peak power and 55 Newton meters of torque. So it's got plenty of zap, especially when you consider the entire motor system weighs just two kilos. Now there's always a lot of talk about batteries and the SX comes stock with a 400 watt internal battery. So that's plenty of juice, but if you wanted to get extend that for bigger rides, Bosch are offering a 250 watt hour ex range extender, which is gonna slot right into the water bottle uh, mount of any bike. That's gonna give you up to 650 watt hours of range. And when we're thinking that, you know, we're talking 600 watts of peak power, it's on 55 Newton meters, on a super lightweight package, this bike is gonna give you some really long rides. Now, one thing you notice right away when you take a look at the new SX motor is how compact it is. The trail clearance is massive compared to, I guess, those full fat motors we've seen, or even the big brother, the Bosch Performance Line CX. You've got, it's very, very compact. It blends right into the frame design here. Obviously, we're talking, this is the Norco VLT Fluid, a very beautiful bike and the perfect uh, kind of rig to give a motor like this a good testing. Um, but yeah, look how slimline it fits into it there. Um, plenty of trail clearance, like I mentioned before. And interestingly, the internals of the SX carry across most of the same mechanisms that you'll find in, inside that CX. So we're gonna be talking rock solid reliability, um, all the like bearings and sensors and bits pieces, they've all been proven over a number of years. Then of course, being Bosch in Australia, they've got the best dealer service backing right across the country. So if anything ever does go wrong, you're not gonna be off the trail for very long at all. That's a real peace of mind that Bosch offer over all of the other brands in the marketplace. Now, when it comes to displays, Bosch offer the new SX in a bunch of different options, depending on the manufacturer or the rider preference. Um, Norco have opted for this sleek little display, beautifully and seamlessly integrated into the top tube here, and there's no clutter up on the dashboard. So there's nothing you can like, look down on, and have to worry about your speed or anything like that, which I actually really like. Um, that said, there is the option to have um, a dash mounted display. Um, Norco just haven't gone for it here. And personally, the last few weeks that I've been spending on this bike, I haven't wanted a display at all. I, I think it's brilliant. Now, what it does come back to though, is the connectivity of the Bosch um, system is second to none. They've got that Flow app, which they recently released a bunch of updates. And what you do is you, you link the, bar, the bike to the app, sorry, um, via Bluetooth and you set up the profile. Um, and then once you've, uh, you, once you've connected, Obviously it's gonna store all of your ride data on here. So you can go back after the ride, upload it, do whatever you want, see all the bit. Um, and I mean, pre-ride, depending on what setting you're on, it's gonna tell you exactly how much juice, based off the amount of battery you've got, how far the range you can expect to get out of that ride. So you're gonna have no range anxiety, even though you are on a you know, SL style uh, motor, which is really clever. The bike even comes with its own security system in the form of a mobilizer Run through the Flow app, you can subscribe to a service whereby once the bike is paired, if the bike doesn't sense your phone, it literally won't turn on. So it means if you steal it, the bike's never gonna be able to be ridden anywhere anyway. So a great peace of mind, something that Bosch offer. It's part of a subscription service. It's free for the first year and it's six bucks every month thereafter. But considering that the, it renders the bike completely immobilized, uh, if you decide to go with that option, um, if let's say someone does steal your bike, they're never gonna be able to ride it. But then at the same time, the bike you can actually track by GPS. Um, if you if you got that immobilizer working. So, I mean, great peace of mind, something that Bosch are really leading the way with there in terms of security and uh, protecting that big investment that you know, you potentially be making. All right, so let's get down to it. How does the SX ride? Well, I've spent a few weeks uh, testing it out and I can say it's very impressive. The actual feel of the motor and when you're riding the sensation it gives you is very familiar. I say that because I spent a lot of time on the Bosch CX We've had that motor in a bunch of different bikes we've tested here at the MAG. And the SX has a very similar feel, the smoothness in particular. The SX does enjoy a high cadence, I noticed. Um, so for instance, I'm probably clicking up and going a slightly easier gear um, than probably with a big full fat uh, CX. Um, but that actually suits my riding style. But what I've found is even though it's got a lot of power, because the whole bike is so light, when the power comes on, it really accelerates. And so when you've got that like higher cadence, Often with motors, they tend to be a little choppy and, and whatnot, like they're on and off and a bit jittery. The SX isn't like that at all. It's buttery smooth, which is something that, again, we've really come used to with the CX, and that sort of adds that familiarity of how this thing rides. 
Um, very, very smooth. Look, it's not the quietest system uh, we've ever ridden. Um, it doesn't have any clank or clutter or anything like that, but it does have like a constant kind of gentle hum, which I quite like in my e-bikes. I feel like it kind of that way I know it's there. Um, but yeah, heaps of clearance, super smooth. The lightweight factor adds to the range of every ride. Um, and because again, the bike's so light, it has that perfect handling. It's a true SL. We're gonna see this Bosch X SX motor uh, from a bunch of manufacturers. We're really excited to finally have had the chance to ride it. Um, it is definitely lives up to the hype and expectation before this thing was launched. Um, Bosch are just pushing themselves out in front even further in our opinion. Um, and yeah, right now it'd have to be considered absolutely one of the leaders.